after a decade of waiting, Rockstar Games has finally given us a glimpse of the next highly anticipated Grand Theft Auto game. And let me tell you, it looks absolutely beautiful. But as a longtime fan of the series, I can't help but wonder what new features and improvements the game will bring. That's why in today's video, we are counting down the top 10 things I want to see in GTA 6. But before we get into the video, if you are new around here, please consider clicking that subscribe button. It's totally free and I would really appreciate it. Okay. Let's begin. So, number 10 on my wish list for GTA 6 is dynamic weather effects. We've all experienced the familiar sunny days, rainy nights, and the occasional foggy drives in previous GTA games, but why not take it a little bit further? Picture this, you're cruising through the streets of GTA 6, enjoying a beautiful day, and suddenly, the ground starts shaking, the buildings tremble as an earthquake strikes. Or imagine being caught off guard as a massive tsunami just barrels towards you in the city, forcing you to navigate the rising waters and survive the aftermath. I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty fun to me. These dynamic and world or alterin, 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 alterin. Can I not speak English? These dynamic and world altering disasters could add an unprecedented level of immersion to the game. It's not about making the game harder, it's about making the game unpredictable and exciting. Rockstar has always been known for pushing the boundaries and introducing these new dynamic weather events could take GTA 6 to a whole new level. The thrill of not knowing when the next disaster might strike would keep players on the edge of their seats, making every playthrough a unique and unforgettable experience. I just feel like every GTA game game has been the same since like San Andreas. Apart from GTA Online has snow like once a year, which is pretty cool I guess. I just want to see Rockstar take it a step further. Anyway, moving on to number 9, we have mod support. Not every game can or should implement modern, but for a game like GTA, it kind of just makes sense. I mean, GTA is known for having some of the wildest and most creative mods in gaming history. I mean, look at this. I, I don't even know what's going on. Do you know what's going on? I don't know what's going on. This is cool, we should do more of this. The modern scene has been the lifeblood of GTA 5, breathing new life into the game long after its initial release, especially all of the role-playing mods. I mean, they literally took over GTA 5, so much that Rockstar Games actually hired the team. So even Rockstar knows this is true. Mods keep the game fresh. Look at Skyrim. That's another great example of mods keeping the community alive. And there's plenty more examples just like this. Do you remember creating your own skate park in Tony Hawk? Hawk's Pro Skater on the PlayStation 2. Let me know in the comments if you ever played that, by the way. If you did, you're a legend and I love you. But I can't tell you how many hours I've spent making a skate park. I would sit there all day just making skate park after skate park. And I wasn't the only one that done this. All of my friends would do it as well. There was just something about having the freedom to create something that you wanted to and being able to use your imagination. What if GTA 6 gave us the tools to create our own experience within the game? The potential for players creativity is limitless limit limitless limit limitless why does that not sound right limit limitless limit limitless limitus limit limit Okay, so at number eight, we have the option to buy more properties. So this one might sound a little strange, but let me break it down. Do you remember the golden days of GTA San Andreas on the PlayStation 2, where the game gave us the power to own property after property? As a kid, this made me feel like a god. The sense of owning this amount of properties was almost addictive as a kid, and something that hasn't been fully replicated since GTA San Andreas. Sure, Vice City touched on it a little, but those properties were more symbolic, you couldn't actually step inside them. It was used more of a way to just save the game quickly, and that was pretty much it. Fast forward to GTA 5, and they introduced the ability to purchase multiple businesses, which was pretty cool at the time, but there was one significant limitation. You could only buy one house. Imagine having endless amounts of money, but you can't buy another house. Something about that always felt so off to me. Maybe it was because of the limited hardware at the time. I feel like they had 
so much planned for GTA 5, but things got cut because of this issue. Just imagine if they waited for the next gen consoles instead of releasing it on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. GTA 5 would be a completely different game. What I'm envisioning for GTA 6 is the freedom to buy not just multiple businesses like GTA 5, but multiple homes, apartments, and various types of real estate. I want to feel like I own the entire city, like I did in GTA San Andreas. Sure, in GTA Online, you can pretty much do all of this, but in this video, I'm talking about the single player campaign. If this video gets enough love, I might make a part two, talking about what I want to see in GTA 6 Online. So yeah, make sure you leave a like on the video if that's something that you want to see. And at the number seven spot, we have a zombie game mode. The fact that something like this has never been done in a GTA game should be a crime within itself. Believe it or not, something similar to this was actually planned for GTA 5 story mode, but was unfortunately scrapped due to the overwhelming success of GTA Online. It's reasons like this why I hate GTA Online. It feels like they took so much away from us. But let's set the past aside and focus on what could be in GTA 6. So picture this, a post-apocalyptic city overrun by zombies, where survival is your only objective. The concept isn't entirely new, Rockstar successfully implemented a similar mode in Red Dead Redemption 1, and it was a massive hit. Imagine navigating the city with the undead, scavenging for resources and seeing how long you can survive. It's not just about battling zombies, it's about outsmarting them, planning your survival, and perhaps even discovering the cause of the outbreak within the game's story. Storyline. Yeah, that sounds like a fantastic time. I'd pay for that. Rockstar could take so much money away from me with GTA 6. It's actually kind of scary. And number six, I have a pretty stupid idea and I'm not quite sure how it would even work, but I would love to see an in-game leaderboard. Now, I know you think this is probably silly to wish for, but hear me out. I genuinely believe it could bring a ton of value and replayability to GTA 6. Imagine having a leaderboard for things like speed runs, seeing how long you can last with a six star wanted level or building on our point earlier how long you can survive in the zombie apocalypse i mean you get the point does anyone remember call of duty black ops 3 they had a pretty cool mode called free run the whole idea was to complete an obstacle course in the fastest time possible but the thing that made this so fun and addictive was the leaderboard it was a race to be the best i spent way too much time trying to beat my friends and looking back at it now if there wasn't some kind of leaderboard I probably wouldn't have played it as much as I did. I know they normally have stats in GTA games, but having one big leaderboard that everyone can see would just add so much more to the game, and I would love to see it. Okay, I need a tea break. Okay, so now at the halfway point, coming in at number 5, we've got something a bit stupid, but I would love to see more places to explore. And to be honest, I don't really know how they could implement this into GTA 6. Imagine this, you run into some mad, crazy rocket scientist with an obsession with getting to space. Next thing you know, you're helping him blast off into the great beyond. Yeah, I get it, it sounds pretty ridiculous. And going to Mars might be a little bit too far. But hey, GTA 5 had its fair share of eight aliens, right? Why not take this storyline even further? I'll be honest, I didn't really have that many great points for that. I just think space is pretty cool when I want to see it in a GTA game. That's pretty much it. If space feels too out there, how about some more underwater exploration? I mean, one of my absolute favorite things to do in GTA 5 was just diving into the depths and checking out what's below the surface. So whether it's flying to outer space or going for a little swim, I want to see some new places to explore in GTA 6. What do you think? Any crazy locations you want to see? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And at number four, I want to have the ability to play GTA 6 in virtual reality. With the rise of role-playing servers, I feel like now is the perfect time for Rockstar to implement something like this into their games. When I was a kid, I always had this thought about what it would actually be like to live in a GTA game. Okay, saying that out loud actually makes me sound a little bit weird. But with the rapid advancement in VR technology, living in a GTA game might actually become a reality. I think VR is the next step in the gaming industry, and with Rockstar always pushing the boundaries, this is something that I can actually see happening. Off topic, but imagine being in the GTA strip club in a VR. Okay, maybe that shouldn't be a thing. Number three, we have customizable safe houses. And I know that sounds kind of boring. I get it. GTA is known for its chaotic activities, running over pedestrians, engaging in high-speed chases, and uh, yeah. 
other things that we 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 definitely don't do but here's the thing i'm a bit more mature now don't get me wrong i love committing horrific acts in virtual video games because i can't do it in real life it's fun i get it imagine this instead of purchasing a fully furnished house with all the bells and whistles what if you bought a bare bones place you the player then earns money in game to furnish it that sounds like a fantastic time to me it might sound a bit stupid because it's a gta game but think about it given players the freedom to decide how they want to set up their virtual abode could truly immerse them into the game. It's about providing choices and making the experience more personal. Okay, reading that part kind of sounds a bit stupid. That's just like kill a hooker or something. So at the number two spot, we have in-game minigames. Now that I'm reading this list, I have some really weird stuff that I want in GTA 6. I feel like most people want like faster cars, jetpacks, lots of money and banks to rob and stuff. And I want like to build my own house. But anyway, I always found it cool when a video game would have a game within a game. They done this a lot in the PlayStation 2 era, but GTA San Andreas actually had a feature like this in CJ's house. So I would love to see Rockstar revisit this idea on a much larger scale. Rockstar has a catalog of legendary games. Just imagine if you could replay these games within GTA 6. I mean, we have Bully, Manhunt, Max Payne, and all the old school legendary GTA titles. Rockstar recently introduced GTA Plus, and let's be honest, it didn't really do that well. But what if by purchasing the GTA Plus, you not only get some nifty perks for GTA Online, but also gain access to a virtual console in-game, letting you relive the glory of the old-school Rockstar titles. I know it might sound a bit out there, but why not? It sounds fun, and it kind of makes sense to do something like this. Finally, at number one, we actually have a two-in-one. So, the first thing is a story mode DLC, like we spoke about earlier. Rockstar actually had plans for a GTA 5 DLC, but was cancelled. I'm not much of an online player anymore. I find more fun in a single-player campaign, and I know I'm not the only one, so this is probably the main thing that I want to see in GTA 6. I know the story is going to be big in GTA 6, but uh, we're not going to be getting another GTA game for a long, long time. So some DLC would be great. Next up is a co-op story mode option. This is something I've been wanting in a GTA game since like Vice City. We did get a two-player option in San Andreas, but you couldn't really do any missions. So after an hour, it got pretty boring. This might sound a little nerdy, but some of my best online memories involve playing Saints Row 3 or Call of Duty World at War with my online buddies on the good old xbox 360 and it was all because we could play co-op i know you have online multiplayer that you can play with your friends but i just always had more fun playing a story mode game with my buddy it was always more fun than just like shooting at each other and that being like it you know i believe the story for gta 6 is going to take place around two characters jason and lucia it's an idea that is long overdue and now might just be the perfect time for rockstar to make it happen but anyway, that's everything that I want to see in GTA 6. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree with my list. And if you don't agree with my list, well, you're wrong. Sorry. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm going. Have a good day. See you in the next one. Bye.